Hello everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Casual Couch Gaming, with your host, Magnus Tsunami. And for today's episode, Top Gear Overdrive. I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, so today we are joined by our racer, Magnus Tsunami. Now, nobody really knows why he's racing these races or what his goal is, but I've heard amongst the grapevine that he's trying to raise funds for a cause. Now, let's see how Magnus goes in this little yellow V-dub beetle. It looks like a yellow V-dub beetle. I really don't know. So he's off to a strong start, overtaking the cars very slowly. Missing out on the cash on the road, I don't think that's really going to bother him. The aim of this is to try to get into one of the top places, either first, second or third. So based on your performance, you get a better reward at the end of the race. So these are some very interesting tracks. Magnus seems to have found an ice cave. Ooh, and he nabs a nice $250 bonus, but explodes upon impact on the wall. Huh, this is a very, very fragile car. Seems Magnus is going to have to be very, very careful from here on out. As he recovers from the incident, he tries to take a shortcut, but gets stuck. I think this is going to cost him some time. This isn't a very good start for Magnus at all, who is currently in 7th position and really struggling to get to 1st position. He's managed to now get into 6th position and is shunting a green car. Ooh, and Magnus nicely nabs 5th position and has now managed to grab 4th position just narrowly avoiding that pole. He's hugging the right hand corner here. Let's see how Magnus goes in this race. Will he be able to get first position or will he struggle and crash again? Only time will tell. Seems that this is a quite lovely um, ice track here and Magnus is bumping into the wall left, right and center. And another explosion from Magnus. Oh, this is going to cost him some time. He has now dropped back down to seventh after this incident. Hmm, this is not looking good for young Magnus in his driving career as he heads through the ice cave. Is that another shortcut, or did it, is just that how he ended up going? Hmm, we'll never know. Uh, he tries to avoid that shortcut where he got stuck last time. I think that has definitely paid off as his car bounces off the asphalt. Taking the corners at breakneck speeds, he misses the nitrous. Ooh, I think that nitrous could have really come in handy for Magnus here. I don't know why he's not driving too well. I dare say the pressure of winning this race has gotten to him. Let's see how this young aspiring driver shall go. So it is now third and final lap, missing out on another cash bonus as the other driver ahead of him takes it. Ooh, Magnus is feeling the pressure here, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think Magnus is going to qualify. He really needs to push and hone his skills, but running into the wall like that will not help him qualify. Decides to take the shortcut again. The last time Magnus took this shortcut, he ended up exploding into the wall. Will this benefit him this time? Tune in to find out. As he's battering and bumping into the wall, he's slowly making his way out of the cave. He's managed to shoot from seventh position all the way to third position. So that shortcut certainly did help Magnus. Well, that uh, was a lucky turn of events for him then, wasn't it? Magnus is trying his hardest to remain in third position. Nabs the Nitros and boosts. Will this be enough to nab him second position? No, he qualifies at third position at a nice amount for 2,500. The next track now is Fertile Canyon. Let's see how our young aspiring driver Magnus does in this track today. So he's off to the start and it seems like every race he has to start at last position. Curious because normally when in driving simulators if you finish in third in the last race you'll start again in the same position for the next race. But it seems that this is more like a rally as Magnus randomly explodes on thin air. Hmm, that 
it's definitely not good, but Magnus nabbing the $250 cash bonus, he decides to take another shortcut. You would have thought from the last race he would have learnt not to take shortcuts as he demolishes a dinosaur arm and misses the cash bonus. Hmm, Magnus isn't doing so well as he explodes straight into a building! Ooh, this is definitely not good for Magnus as he's currently in ninth position. Avoiding hitting that corner, it seems like Magnus has stumbled upon a cornfield. Hmm. There's no time for sightseeing here though, ladies and gentlemen, as Magnus is smashing the signs as he goes along. Hugging that corner, he nabs the Nitros. But he's still struggling in ninth position here. Magnus really needs to make headway to catch up to the other races. Will he lose this race or will he manage to catch up? Only time will tell. So stick around to find out as Magnus takes another shortcut. Well. So far, these shortcuts have only paid off once. Let's see if this shortcut pays off this time, or whether it will end in disaster. Well, it can't be good because there was a danger sign there, as that same dinosaur that he saw from the last lap was still there, mocking him. Hmm. Well, he manages to get through the cave unscathed, but he's still in ninth position, so that shortcut has not helped him whatsoever. Magnus struggling to catch up to any other races. There are no races in sight whatsoever. I don't think Magnus is going to do so well on this race as he nabs another Nitros, bringing his total to four. It is now the last lap and he finally manages to catch up to another green racer as he bumps and shunts him, boosting past him into eighth position. But it seems like the other races are just too far away for Magnus to catch up. Will Magnus be able to manage getting into a qualifying position? Only time will tell, as Magnus misses another Nitros. The other races seem to be getting to those boosts on the road quicker than he can. There is another racer up ahead. Ooh, and Magnus nicely avoids the wall that he ran into last time. Finding another racer, Magnus hugs the right hand corner, what will he do here? Ooh, shunting the racer away, Magnus nabs another Nitros and boasts over the finish line. But unfortunately, Magnus has not qualified in this race. So it seems in order for Magnus to progress, he must do the race again. And that is the cost of failure, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, Magnus isn't too pleased with his race, so he's definitely going to, well, not take it out on the other players, but it seems like he's certainly got a much stronger start this race. He's already in ninth position, ignores the cave to the right, and is heading a different route. I dare say Magnus has figured out that it's best for him to stick on the main track as he's flying around those corners at breakneck speeds. There is a green racer up ahead. What's Magnus going to do here? Ooh, shunting him. Ooh, shunts him again. Magnus is furiously shunting the racer. Come on, Magnus, you don't need to take your road rage out on other races just because you lost the other race. Destroying that same sign. Hmm. Magnus must have a vendetta against these signs. I really don't know what his issue is. Nabbing that boost and bumping into the walls like no tomorrow. They're not they're not rubber walls, you know. You might explode. These cars are quite fragile, as you guys have seen. Magnus has already blown up quite a few times in these races as Magnus slides across that corner. He's in sixth position. He seems to be flying along at 169 kilometers an hour and sees a four-wheel drive Jeep. Hmm, we didn't see the Jeeps from the last races, that's curious. Magnus has now nabbed fourth position. He is holding this position quite strong. Will he grab a qualifying position this time around? As Magnus is furiously hugging those tracks, sliding around the corners as you hear the wheels skid out, but Magnus is not losing speed whatsoever. Another four-wheel drive boost, but Magnus beats it without even trying. Magnus didn't even need his nitro for that. Magnus has now managed to nab second position. Will he be able to catch up to the first position racer? 
or will Magnus hold his second position or stuff up by blowing up against a wall? Only time will tell here, ladies and gentlemen, but it seems Magnus is really flying along, being careful not to run into any walls or run into any anything which might cause him to explode. It seems Magnus has an absolute awesome lead at second, still occasionally bumping into the wall, but trying to avoid hitting anything. I dare say Magnus has got second position in the bag here, ladies and gentlemen. I dare say Magnus is going to be happy with his second position win, and at least it's better than seventh or third position. So there you have it. Magnus finishes strongly after the third attempt, well, the second attempt at the third race. Thanks for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Until next time, Magnus Tsunami out. Magnus Tsunami. Go!